In this video right here, I'm going to tell you how I managed to get 400,000 followers on a TikTok account in one week, how I also managed to get that account permanently banned, and also get it reinstated within 48 hours. And at the end of it all, I'm going to show you how much money 150 million views on TikTok paid me within one week. And I'm sure the number isn't nearly as close to what you would expect. So if you haven't met already, my name is Anthony McLemore. I like to make videos about side hustles, making money online, investing, pretty much anything involving money. I'm trying to do it and try to do it to the best of my ability. And with my most recent money making escapade came at a little bit of a cost as I managed to get myself permanently banned from the app of TikTok for at least about 48 hours. But before we talk about how I got banned and how I got my account back, let's talk a little bit about how I managed to grow that account to 400,000 followers in the first place and it all started with me hopping on a trend pretty much as a joke and just trying to get content to post on snapchat spotlight so over the last two or three weeks to even the last month i've been posting a ton of content on snapchat spotlight and if you haven't heard of snapchat spotlight it's basically like tiktok but for snapchat and you tend to get paid a lot more for videos posted over there so what i was doing is looking up popular videos on tiktok recording a similar video to that video and then uploading that to snapchat spotlight and most of the time i didn't even post these videos to tiktok i would just record them on tiktok just to exclusively post them on snapchat but after a while i thought why not let me post a few of them on tiktok and that's what led me to hopping on to this very simple but very effective trend of posting pictures with disturbing backstories so what happened is i saw a content creator who was getting millions upon millions of views just from pointing up and then showing videos or pictures with disturbing backstories or with interesting backgrounds and the thing about this is that it almost seemed too good to be true because basically all you had to do for yourself is show your face for one second and then point up and then use the green screen feature to input any picture or any video that you wanted so most of the time when i saw this they would put a really funny picture behind their pointing up or they would just put something really weird that people didn't normally see every day but the route that i chose and i saw very little people doing was pictures with disturbing backstories and that's where i found a lot of success with and by a lot of success i mean almost a million to five million views per video i even had one video get over 40 million views and i think that that genre of pictures with disturbing backstories appealed to a lot of people because it was a little bit of a conspiracy type series once you saw one of those videos you were almost always tempted to click on my profile and then see the next video and then see the next one and because i was posting back to back to back almost 10 times within one day i was getting millions upon millions of views per video and the thing is that once one video did well because people were clicking on my profile and seeing the next video that video also began to do well and skyrocket as well causing it to bring more people in and i just continued to rinse and repeat and continue to post and post often now this all sounds good it definitely was a way to get a ton of views and get a ton of followers as i went from about thirty thousand followers on tiktok to almost a hundred thousand followers within the first day and these tiktoks took me no longer than five minutes maybe even 10 minutes to make but it definitely wasn't a lot of effort as i could record 10 videos of me pointing up and i would be set for the whole day and all i had to do was search for images however as wise men say if something seems too good to be true then it probably is because after i hit that 100,000 follower mark i started to notice that every time i posted a new tiktok it will be held under review for about 5 to 15 minutes. Now, before this mark, when I went to upload a new TikTok, as soon as I uploaded within the first 10 seconds, I would refresh my page and have almost a 1,000 views within the first 10 seconds with a lot of people commenting first and just overall interacting with the content. But once I hit 100,000 followers, my TikToks now said they were under review and had to pass the community guidelines before they were even posted. Now, at first, I didn't think anything of it. It usually took between 5 to at most 30 minutes for them to approve a TikTok. But over time, the wait started to get a little bit longer and longer until it took almost two hours for one TikTok to publish after I had already decided to post it because TikTok was reviewing the content. And as I go back to say, I was posting exclusively pictures with disturbing backstories. I was talking about suicides. I was talking about murderers. I was talking about serial killers. All of these things that don't necessarily contribute to a family-friendly environment. And I think TikTok just about had enough of it. And then the suspicion was confirmed the next day. So the very next day, my account went from 100,000 followers to 250,000 followers. And not only was TikTok reviewing my posts for up to an hour at times but they also took down about five of my other posts that I had already published on tiktok that had about 10 million views altogether now if you know anything about tiktok or the tiktok creator fund 10 million views is a pretty healthy chunk of change and it definitely stung a little bit having those videos get taken down now it would be like some other creators now and say that it was disappointing or extremely discouraging because you work so hard on creating those videos in order for it to get a lot of views but for me i was a little bit more disappointed than discouraged because the videos were really easy to make and i honestly didn't put any effort effort into them. My whole plan behind a TikTok account was to use it to help grow this YouTube channel and then try to intermingle the audiences over time. But at first I wanted to have that large audience base and posting those disturbing TikToks seemed to me like the best way to do that. But let's fast forward a little bit more. 
On the very next day, I decided not to post any new TikToks. I figured that having five community guidelines strikes in one day was a little bit much and I was running the risk of getting permanently banned and I didn't want that to happen. So I took a break on the next day, but then the day after that, I started to upload once again. And this is the day where I learned with TikTok really was not happy with the content I was posting at all. And that is because I tried to post three different TikToks and before those TikToks even had the chance to go live, before even one person viewed them, they took them down for community guidelines violations. Now the violations were anything from graphic content to violent content or anything like that, which I would tend to disagree with because I never posted anything too graphic, I would say. But obviously TikTok didn't have that same view as me. So at this point, the account is at 400,000 followers. I can technically still post, I'm not banned from posting, but anything that I do post is getting immediately taken down. And that's what I said, okay, I'm gonna give it another 24 hours and I'm just gonna let this cool down and start trying to post again. And that's when I opened the app on the next day to the message that I am permanently banned from TikTok for too many community guidelines violations. Now, obviously this is a very disappointing screen to see. I had the intention to grow in this account to 1 million followers in order to just expand my income streams, open the doors to new sponsors, do many things like that, and also just have the ability to interact with the TikTok community with a large follower base. And to see that it was permanently banned kind of discouraged me a little bit, but it definitely didn't piss me off as I never really took this TikTok account very seriously because all of these TikToks were super easy to make. So now we're at the point where I'm actually banned. And as soon as I got the message that I was banned, I immediately went to YouTube and looked up how to unban yourself on TikTok or how to get unbanned. And I saw that a lot of other creators were getting banned for various reasons, not even including graphic or violent content, but just from little things like people spam reporting their accounts or anything like that. So if you were in a position that I was and you're looking to get yourself unbanned from an account on TikTok, let me tell you the steps that I took in order to get unbanned. So the very first thing that I did was appeal to ban within the TikTok app itself. Once you open the app within seven days of getting banned, you have the option to appeal to ban or you can just say, okay, and leave the ban itself. Obviously, 99% of creators are going to appeal the ban. And because I knew that, I didn't really think that this was going to be all that effective because I felt that anyone that ever got banned would just try to appeal it and they probably rejected about 99% of those applications. But after appealing the ban within the app, I then went on and searched every single email address that I could find for TikTok itself, global email address, United States email address, other countries email address, community creators email addresses. And I emailed every single one of those email addresses, asking them if they could take a look into my account to see if it was possible to get unbanned. Once doing this, I DM'd every single social media account that TikTok had asking them if I could possibly get my account back. Now I believe that the key here is to be extremely persistent and to try to contact them in as many ways as possible. Now my plan was to do this for seven days straight in order to bug them as much as possible until some real person came and took a look at my account. However, since I was actually banned on a Friday, I only sent the first set of emails that I was gonna send on that Friday and then I planned to follow up with it with more emails on the next Monday. However, I didn't have to wait too long to get a decision because on Sunday afternoon, I got a message back from one of the TikTok email addresses that I emailed saying that my account will remain permanently banned because I had too many community guideline violations. Now at this point, I was feeling pretty defeated because I thought, well, it's all over. I won't get to the TikTok account back because somebody actually did take a look at my account, did review it, and then decided that I still was gonna be banned even though I made the appeal for it. Now I wasn't discouraged, I would say, even though kinda I was discouraged, I was more pissed off than anything because I felt like I didn't do anything wrong. But my plan was to start a new TikTok account and just try to grow that one to a million followers as I feel that you can get a million followers fairly easy on TikTok if you post the right kind of content and if you do well and if you stay consistent with the content that you post. But to my surprise, the next morning, I got another message back from TikTok saying that my account would now be reinstated because they reviewed it and they found out that it wasn't violating any more community guidelines. Now this obviously was a roller coaster of emotions. I had one email address telling me that I would remain banned and then the next day I had another email address telling me that I would be reinstated. So I then went in and tried to log into the account and I found out that my account was reinstated and that I was able to use it once again. So that's the story of how I got banned and unbanned from TikTok. But the most interesting part for me anyways was the money that was temporarily trapped in the TikTok creator fund that I wouldn't be able to access if I had my account permanently banned. So what I want to do is take you guys into my TikTok analytics to show you the actual analytics of all of those videos and exactly how much money that they earned. So as I open TikTok, we can see that my name on TikTok is Ant-Man or Black Hustler. Not really sure why I picked that username, but it was just something that came up to me at the time. And we can see that this account has 426,000 followers and 15 million likes. Now this is obviously pretty insane, but if we take a look and scroll down at my TikToks, we can see how many views that this account has gotten. It did decrease in the last three days. As I said, it kept taking down my videos, but in this one period, my videos were getting millions to almost tens of millions of views with this one video at 42.3 million views. And as I click on this video, we can see that they are just pictures with disturbing backstories. Nothing crazy, nothing that took too long. Each one of these TikToks took about five to 10 minutes to create. But if we do dive into my analytics, we can see exactly what that did for the profile. 
So as we click on the last 28 days, we can see that this basically all started around May 4th and then ended around May 14th. So on the best day, this account got 49 million views with 36 million views coming next and then 14 and then averaging about four to two million views a day. And if we click on the last seven days, we can see where I was banned for two days. But if we scroll down here to followers, we can see that the account started at 36,000 followers and then jumped up to 430,000 followers in, in almost two weeks, I would say. But now let's talk about the focus of this video and the focus of this overall channel and see how much money that this actual series or this experiment I would say actually made for me and it's honestly a pretty penny so if we look at my TikTok creative fund we can see that it has three thousand and seventy seven dollars and forty three cent in it and let me tell you only fifteen dollars of this came from before I started this series so if we look at the actual days we can see I was earning zero dollars zero dollars zero dollars five cent eighteen cent and then a sixteen dollar day and then all of a sudden it jumped to five hundred dollars in one day nine hundred eighty seven dollars eight hundred seventy six dollars three forty three and then some fifty and forty dollar days so in the peak of these three days this profile made about two thousand dollars which is more than what this youtube channel has made over the lifetime of the channel and i would say overall within this period the tiktok probably got about 150 million views so that's about three thousand dollars for 150 million views and even though that is an extremely low cpm i would say that that is better than nothing and definitely pretty cool since i definitely wasn't taking this all that serious but the question still remains on whether or not i will continue this series because it was so successful or if i would do something else just to try to not get banned on tiktok in the future and for me personally, although some people may disagree, I think I'm going to stop the series for now because I don't want to run the risk of getting banned once again. And I feel that if I get banned a second time within one week, then I will definitely want to get this account back. And having an account that's closing in on 500,000 followers can be a big deal when you're trying to transfer that audience over to a YouTube channel. So for me, this TikTok profile is definitely not about that $3,000 in a creative fund. As one of those TikToks when posted to Snapchat Spotlight could earn ten dollars to $15,000 compared to TikTok. But it's more about building that audience and building that fan base that you can transfer to over social media platforms that you can't really do with snapchat spotlight so i will stop with the disturbing videos even though they were successful and i will try to do some more family friendly content until the account is about a month old from those community strikes and i want to say that the money from tiktok is really not all that important to me because i really use tiktok as a funnel to other platforms rather than for money itself so if i do make money from the tiktok it's more like a cherry on top rather than what i see as a stable income stream because you never know what can happen so i treat the money from the tiktok creative fund much like I treat money from sponsors, from affiliate marketing, and from other endorsement cycles that I can't control. And that's just money that if I get it, I can funnel it into my investments. But if I don't, it's not a big deal because I'm not using it to live on or to survive on each month. However, with all that being said, I really hope you did enjoy this video. I try to slow down my talking in this video a little bit because I know I can get a little bit quick when I'm talking. And I've been seeing some comments recently as the channel has been growing about how I talk extremely fast and that it's hard to follow. So leave a comment down below if you feel that I talk with a little bit of a better flow in this video and if not i could just work on slowing it down a little bit more as i feel that i'm naturally a pretty fast talker but i'll try to slow it down as best as i can however if you did enjoy this video don't forget to leave a like on it down there for your boy as it really does help my channel out and also hit that subscribe button as well if you want to see more content like this as i will be back on my uploading grind and uploading three videos a week every single week until the foreseeable future however if you did enjoy this video i really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one guys peace